hi and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. This week we celebrate the Tony Awards. The Tony Awards were broadcast just a week ago and I got to be there at Radio City and it was great fun. Well, the big winner of the evening for Best Musical was Fun Home. It won five Tony Awards. Best Book of a Musical by Lisa Crone. Best Original Score Written for the Theater Music by Janine Tesori and lyrics by Lisa Crone. Best Direction of a Musical, Sam Gold. And Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Musical was given to Michael Cerverus. Fun Home continues to play at Circle in the Square. Here are some scenes. I wanna play airplane. I wanna play airplane. I wanna play Exactly alike. I see everything. Caption. My dad and I were nothing alike. Maps show you what is simple and true. Try laying out a bird's eye view. Not what he told you, just what you see. What do you know that's not your dad's mythology? I guess I'm older. And it's harder when you're older to begin. Peeling plaster, sagging roof, two missing stairs, a buckle wall. I'm fired up to do this, but on my own. Oh, so much damage, broken windows, pipes are shit, crap veneer. It's hours later, Jesus, I'm still standing here. Your swagger and your bearing and the just right clothes you're wearing, your short hair and your dungarees and your lace up boots and your keys, oh, your ring of keys. I know. Also with five Tony Awards is the best play, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, written by Simon Stevens. Tony Awards also went to the director of a play, Marion Elliott, scenic design of a play by Bunny Christie and video design by Finn Ross, best lighting design of a play went to Paul Constable, and for best actor in a leading role in a play went to Alex Sharp who just one year ago graduated from the Juilliard School. It is still playing at the Barrymore Theater. Be sure to catch it. Next up, with four Tony Awards, Best Revival of a Musical went to The King and I by Rodgers and Hammerstein. It's produced by Lincoln Center and plays at the Vivian Beaumont Theater. It also won for its leading actress, Kelly O'Hara. This was her sixth nomination and she finally won and we were all delighted. Best Costume Design of a Musical went to Katherine Zuber. Best Performance by a Featured Actress in a Musical went to Ruthie Ann Miles. Here are some scenes.
An American in Paris had four Tony Awards. Choreography went to Christopher Wielden. Best Lighting Design of a Musical went to Natasha Katz. Best Orchestrations to Christopher Austin, Don Sebesky, and Bill Elliott. And Best Scenic Design of a Musical went to Bob Crowley and 59 Productions. An American in Paris plays to sold out audiences over at the Palace Theater. Here are some scenes. The audience went home with two Tony Awards for featured actor in a play, Richard McCabe, playing Prime Minister Harold Wilson, and playing the Queen, none other than Dame Helen Mirren, won for Best Actress in a Play. She's the first actress to win two awards, a Tony and an Oscar, for playing the same character, Queen Elizabeth II, and both were written by the same writer, Peter Morgan. The movie, The Queen, the play, the audience. Here's a little look at the audience. And across the street at the Golden Theater, Skylight took home the prize for Best Revival of a Play. It's written by David Hare and has a stellar cast. It continues to play and it's a must-see limited run, so don't wait too long. There's no problem. It's all in hand. What? <laughs> no, really, what are you thinking? Are you putting the chilli in first? <laughs> no, it's, it's just, I, I, I usually, I fry the chilli so it infuses the oil. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I see, I don't do that. I'm doing it the way I prefer. <laughs> Be sure to catch Skylight, which ends its limited run on June 21st at the Golden Theatre. For best performance in a play by a featured actress, the award went to Anna Lee Ashford from You Can't Take It With You, written by Moss Hart and George S. Cotton.
The Tony Award for Featured Actor in a Musical went to Christian Borel, who now has two Tony Awards. Christian is in Something Rotten, playing at the St. James Theater. And what fun it is. Wolf Hall Parts 1 and 2 took home Best Costume Design for Christopher Oram. They were inspired by those wonderful Holbein portraits from the court of Henry VIII. No sooner does one theater season end where the next one begins. And it was almost immediately. An Act of God starring Jim Parsons has opened at Studio 54. Written by David Haverbaum and directed by two-time Tony Award winner Joe Montello. Starring Emmy and Golden Globe winner Jim Parsons with Christopher Fitzgerald and Jim Kazarinski. An Act of God is a comedy where God answers some of the deepest questions that have plagued mankind. Now playing through August 2nd, here are some scenes. I, it, that's something people don't realize about omniscience. It doesn't mean I know everything. It means I'm capable of knowing everything, but I can choose not to, which I usually do. No, I prefer to give myself knowledge on a need-to-know basis. Remember back in 1980, when everybody wanted to know who shot J.R. <laughs> well, I am the Lord thy God, King of the universe. I could easily have found out who shot J.R. Right? I could have attended the producer's meetings, got an advanced copy of the script, or sat in on one of the table reads, but I didn't. No, I stayed deliberately ignorant until the night of the airing. <laughs> when it turned out to be his mistress slash sister-in-law, I was a bit of a letdown, I thought. The, the sixth sense, though, that I did not see coming. <laughs> no. No. And I see dead people constantly. And the newest critic on the block seems to be six-year-old Ian Armitage. He reviewed Fun Home before the Tony Awards. He was even on the red carpet the night of the Tony Awards, filling in for Perez Hilton. Here's Ian's review of Fun Home. Hi, this is Ian, and tonight I saw Fun Home on Broadway. And it's about a woman named Allison looking back on her life. And I like the stage because it's round so the audience can see all the actors and all what they're doing. And also, this show was very interesting for me because there's three a actors who played the same person, Allison. So, one, the first actor plays Allison when she was a young girl 
The second actor plays Allison when she was college age teenager, and the, the, the third actor plays Allison when she was a grown up. And the Allisons do something interesting. They they kind of they do a good job on showing that that's Allison, that's not somebody else. That's Allison. The next one's Allison too, and the third one's Allison. And uh, also, Mr. Michael, who played the father in the show, the father's a little bit mean to the children. Um, but you have some, you have empathy for him because you kind of understand why he does that. And and also, he grew up in a time where he didn't really feel free to be himself. And Allison grew up in a time where she felt free to her her real what she in her soul she. She really thought, "Hey, I'm me. I can I can show the world. I can show the world I'm proud of who I am. I'm who I am, and that's a good thing. And that's a that's a very interesting thing. And also, the children have real fun in one scene. I wish I were in the show because they have so much fun. I'm not going to give it away for you, but it's so cool. And also, it shows in the show that it's important to be honest to your children and. It also shows in the show, hopefully the world's changing and it's becoming an easier place to be yourself and to show the world, hey, I'm myself. And I think you should definitely see Fun Home. And also, Miss Judy, who is the mama, was fantastic. And they all have songs in the show about their different points of view of the world and how you should be and that's very interesting too i think you should see fun home the york theater company presents cagney starring robert creighton as the incredible and legendary james cagney and it only plays through june 21st music and lyrics are by robert creighton and christopher mcgovern it's choreographed by joshua Burgas and directed by bill castellino The Atlantic Theatre Company presents the world premiere of Guards at the Taj, a new play by Rajiv Joseph and directed by Amy Morton. It stars Omar Metwali and Ariane Moayed. Guards at the Taj plays at the Linda Gross Theatre through June 28th. Also playing through June 28th at Atlantic Theatre's small black box company plays Ghost Stories two short plays by David Mamet and directed by Scott Ziegler. A few highlights in our cabaret roundup this week are two shows at 54 Below. The first one being Anne Hampton Calloway, On My Way to You. In celebration of her recent marriage, Anne presents an evening of love songs. She's there from June 18th through the 20th and then again on June 25th. Also at 54 Below from June 22nd through July 3rd is Jeremy Jordan. He made a cameo appearance the other night in Bombshell, an Actors Fund benefit where he absolutely wowed the crowd and he's sure to wow him at 54 Below. So do catch him there. Tony Danza holds court at the Cafe Carlisle from June 16th through June 27th. Recently, he was starring in Honeymoon in Vegas. He's always quite the showman, a show not to be missed. On Monday, June 15th, This Is Your Night, David Friedman will happen at the Metropolitan Room. It's hosted by Bernie Fershban. He's been doing these nights to honor wonderful people in the theater and cabaret community. Well, David has given us some wonderful songs, including Listen to My Heart. He has worked with Nancy Lamott and really put her on the map. Since 1995, Help is on the Way has been sung at the Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS Easter Bonnets. Over the years, it's been presented by 20 different stars, including Ruben Blades, 
Kristen Chenoweth, and now this past year, Gavin Creel. From the producers of Sleep No More, we now have Queen of the Night, which just won the 2015 Drama Desk Award for Unique Theatrical Experience. I was blown away by it. And you get served the most delicious dinner, which if you want different courses, you have to go to different tables and bargain for it. You have to go and experience it for yourself. Some of the best acrobatics I've seen in a long time. It plays at the Paramount Theater. Here are some scenes. It ain't about to do what you do. It ain't about to do what you do. 